Good afternoon, everyone. It is a cold and snowy day. Windy, too. Got some beautiful snow-covered mountains out here. I just spent the last two hours unsuccessfully trying to fish this creek lower down, and I'm just gonna scrap all of that footage. Let's start fresh here. I'm at this creek. Let's catch some fish. The snow is really starting to come down now. I didn't realize it would be snowing today. So it's kind of caught me off guard, but we'll push through it, see if we can catch some fish. Like I think I said, I have fished this creek before, but I fished it multiple miles upstream. And uh, I was planning, oh, I was hoping to get further upstream today, but uh, there's snow. The road is still snowy. That's just part of the game of early season fishing. This is the most difficult time of year, so I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but I'm filming this at the end of April. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's hit or miss. And it's more miss than hit as far as the weather goes this time of year. It's not too terribly cold. I think it's above freezing by a few degrees. One time, uh, I remember I was, a couple of years ago, I filmed a video where it was snowing like this, and I mentioned that it was above freezing and snowing, and a guy commented and was like, that's impossible. It literally is impossible for it to snow if it's above freezing. I've got news for you, buddy. It ain't. It happens quite often, actually. Just because it's above freezing here doesn't mean it's above freezing up there. He got really, really like mad <laughs> that I would, that I said that and well, whatever. It's not my fault you don't believe me. I'm fishing today the Zentankara Suzumi, which is my go-to small stream rod. And I'm caught on a log, I think or the edge of the snow shelf over here. I'm fishing this rod with a, a nine foot line and a, an elk hair caddis, which is a traditional fly for like Western fly fishing, traditional fly fishing, not really a Tinkara fly. And I don't normally use flies like this, but it's what was already on this line. So that's what I'm fishing here now, because I'm too lazy to switch it up. There are rainbow trout in this creek. I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna catch. But there is another species in here. I don't know if they come low, if they come this low in the stream system. If I end up catching one, I'll let you know what it is. Otherwise, I wanna keep you in suspense. I am, oh, fish! I was gonna say I'm, oh crap, my net isn't, wasn't ready. Where'd it go? It's, is it still on? Yes, it is. Awesome. Wow. So that's a rainbow trout. It's about 14, 15 inches. No, let's see, eight and four or five. So 12 or 13 inches. Awesome, wow. That didn't take long. I've been fishing for just a few minutes here. I'm happy to catch these guys all day. That is cold water as you might, whew, as you might expect <laughs> when there's snow on the ground and it's snowing outside. This isn't quite a blizzard, but this is quite a bit of snow. Quite a bit of snow. I don't know if you can see like in the clearing in the forest right there. It's just beautiful, big snowflakes coming down. Well, awesome. Let's keep fishing. Look at these gorgeous big snowflakes. That is amazing. Whoa, what is this? Looks like we've got a diversion dam thing here. Interesting. I can't tell how deep this is. Is this deep enough to hold fish? 
I'm not sure. I imagine the snow is helping give some cover to me. I imagine it would make it a little bit harder for fish to see me. So I guess that's a good thing. Not having any luck on this left side here. Let's work toward the middle a little bit more. Oh, I am on something very, very solid now. <laughs> I'm on like, I mean, there's gotta be like a full on tree down in there. Did I lose the fly? Yes, I did. Okay, time for a new one. Okay, the new fly on here is like a gray yarn body. I believe the color is Shulmit. It's a grayish black with brownish ginger stiff hackle and an orange thread head. Okay, let's move on to this. There we go. Oh! Oh! Okay. That was certainly a fish. Let's try that again. Oh, got one! Came over the edge here. That's a rainbow trout. I'd like to dump him back from the same pool up there that I got him from instead of down below. So let's get over here. It's a respectable fish. Pretty fish. Awesome. Let's see if I can get another one out of here. It's actually not as deep as I thought it was, now that I can have a better look. There we go. Got him. Another really pretty, very colorful rainbow trout. Really pretty rainbows in this stream. See ya, buddy. That one was about eight inches long. I think I might... Oh, nope, there's... Oh, man. I was gonna say, I think I might be done with this pool. Whenever I say something like that, I get another another bite. The snow is mostly stopped. I don't think any of that new snow stuck. Because, you know, it's above freezing. Still pretty, though, when it happened. Okay, I think it's time for me to move up a little bit. I think I'm going to go around on the left side. I think that'll give me a better cover to sneak up on some of the upper sections here. Okay, let's kneel down here, see if we can get any fish in here. Yes. It's another rainbow. Got him. Really pretty fish. Really yellow. Got one. And that is another rainbow. Each one of these rainbows is a little bit different. Different coloration, different spotting. Like obviously they're gonna be different, but like they're visibly, notably different. Let's 
See ya, buddy. And it has started to snow a little bit again. Well, there's another creek coming in from the left here. Very small creek. Maybe I'll fish that once summer rolls around. I need to find more pools, deeper water here. This shallow stuff isn't gonna cut it. Got one. Yes, rainbow trout. I'm sensing a pattern. That pattern is rainbow trout. Nice fish. Fish on, whoa! Smaller than I expected. By far the smallest fish yet. It's another little rainbow. Got one. Wow, nice fish. Oh, in and out of the net and back in. Very, very nice. That was only like two inches of water. Fish on. Got him. Let's catch one more, then it'll be time to get out of here. Oh, and there we go. Next cast. Oh, <laughs> this is the other species in here. This is a surprise. This is a very skinny bull trout. That is a bull trout, which of course is related to brook trout. It's a form of char. These are not endangered, but they're threatened fish. They're a threatened species. Well, what a way to end the video. That was fish number 10. I fished for about an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in there. Nine rainbow trout, one bull trout. Uh, rainbow trout are not native to here. Bull trout are native to here, to this part of Idaho. You are allowed to catch bull trout in Idaho as long as you release them right away. You're not allowed to harvest bull trout. I knew there were bull trout in this greater stream system. I didn't think there were any this low in the creek, but hey, what a fun surprise. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures if you want to check that out. Links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.